every time. This is an advanced glider. This is not something that you would want to learn on. Probably not something that you would want with less than advanced level experience. This one is the kind of glider that'll bite you real hard if you let it get away from you. It's fast, it's agile. Two pulls of the brakes, I can do a full barrel roll. Heavy turn and then immediately full end over end barrel roll action. That's how agile this glider is. So not something you would want to try to figure out how to fly with, but should you be in, a, in the realm of, I want a hot glider that can turn on a dime, go raunchy fast. It's full reflex. It's made to be a full meal deal motor glider. And I'm talking about the Flow RPM sized 18. This is the video where I unboxed the glider, took my first flight on it, was completely amazed. It, it was just like I thought it would be. I test flew the 20 a while back. I made a video about that. You can find that one. It looks like it's the thumbnail. That one kind of sold me. Like I just like, ooh, I want to try the smaller size. It impressed me such that I bought the smaller size or I ordered it and had it made and shipped to me. And that's what this is about. Hope you enjoy the video. And I went and bought myself a race car. And no, I'm not talking about the paramotor. I'm talking about this wing right here. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. This is frustrating. This is frustrating when you're trying to get good audio and your microphone breaks three months previous and everything you've recorded in probably the last three months sounds just like that. What's frustrating is trying to do pharmacy work while Kyle's recording. I got a gift for you. <laughs> there, you see that? Here's, here's your gift back. Thanks. You're welcome. The next video he's going to do, he's going to do a hair tutorial. <laughs> Thanks to JoJo. Hair tutorials with Kylo. No, or do we shave the sides? I hear you like back. to cut hair. I do your hair. She does like to cut Apparently, hair. Apparently, every time, every time she gets a hold of a pair of scissors, off comes some of her hair. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I'll try to do better. My apologies for the terrible content. Look how little it is. It looks like a My Little Pony wing. It's so tiny. Y'all ever heard that before? It's so tiny. Woo. Oh, I done brought all the stuff out here. I got a swag bag, speed bar. Oh, I got it upside down. Oh, I suck at life. Wow, it's pretty. I can't wait to fly it. There's the bottom. That's what we're looking for. There's the risers. We'll take those out of the bag. Yeah, I had the opportunity to fly one of these gliders a while back. It was, it was, I wanted this size. I wanted to try this size. I liked the 20 so much that I ordered an 18 within days. I said, I want an 18. And this is what it is. And I'm excited to try it out. Damn, beach towel. Ain't much to this one. Forward layout. Just like I taught these students, I'm gonna do the same thing. They've been all working on their forwards. Oh yeah, there's some wind. Pull my center back. I've already primed this motor. Done no quick and dirty pre-flight on it. Things seems to be intact on. Because they had to manufacture this wing for me, I was able to select the color. I typically don't select the color. I just say surprise me. But because it was coming from the factory, I thought, why not? I like that blue and black. But the color was one of the one things I really liked about the wing. Which is odd for me because I typically only care about how it flies. But after it flew real well, I thought, hell, I might as well pick a color I like too, right? Why not? I'm teaching students at the same time I'm doing this. So there's leg, leg, chest, chest, chin, beaner, locked, gates in, brakes on top, trims, set, beaner, lock, gates in, brakes on top, clear to the pulley. Magnets are good, these are good, connections are good. I got no long rat tails to get hung in the propeller. Trim set equal, okay. Wind direction, we're slightly off centered, it's okay. And clear, oh, almost. They're okay, they're not uncomfortable. I think I'm going into the wind, let's go. Glider's coming up. So I'm not going to make you listen to the terrible audio, the crackling mic and all the motor noise, but this is my first flight on the glider. Here's first turn number one, and then I think I make a steep one to the right, and I'm just like, wow, this thing's agile. Let's get some altitude and see what she does. And so here we go. Level flight. Check my area. One turn to the right. 
come down and then complete and total barrel roll to the left. She turns pretty good. Which is an understatement. This glider has a, has a real strong roll authority. I mean, look at this. Woo wow. She is agile, baby. Agile. Looks like a good wind cycle down here. No air traffic. Let's come around. And as I'm checking out the new ride, I'm also still teaching the students. I briefed them before I took off, said I'll be doing some touch and goes. I wanted to demonstrate like proper landing techniques. So you'll hear me yelling out some things at the students as I do these flybys. Kiting, just kiting. Power, pressure. Throw posture into the mix and you've got the three ingredients for perfect taxi and takeoff situations. Hey, watch this landing! You see how much I ballooned? That means I brake too hard. Kite it. Lean it back. Pull the brakes. Not every balloon situation was due to me over controlling the glider. For example, this one here. I'm actually <laughs> raising my hands up and I get lifted by a little thermal bubble. And that's something else that I'm doing. I'm evaluating the air because the students need to take flights as well. Hands up, maximum speed. Little pressure, little pressure, little pressure, full flare, land. Just like that. I'm landing in thermals, that's why it's all bouncy and beep. Full control, turn around, catch it, control left. Oh, stalled, right side, right side, left side, level. Full control, all you need. I like this wing. It's a, like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Like a, if it were a car, that's what this would be. Holy moly. I mean, I'm loaded up. I don't even know what the rating or uh, the size rating is. I don't care. I just fly it. I ain't a numbers guy. I just like the way it feels when I put it on. Oh, I'm so happy. I ain't bought a wing of my own in so long. It's been many years, two and a half years. I bought the Zeno was the last personal glider I purchased, but the rest of them are, they're mine obviously, but they're, oh, it's time for a new hot rod, I guess. Woo. Talking to it is. <laughs> I was going to get a drink and check my fuel and go back up. Still kind of bumpy. I'm going to fly until it's, it's, I, I tell it's tiffing down and then we'll, Y'all just keep doing what you're doing or take it. Don't wear yourself out. We got the evening. We got some time. All right. We just need to focus on it like it's a good golf swing from start to finish. Every rep from up to down is a full rep. The only thing we're going to do in the middle is squeeze the throttle. You know, that's the only part that you really can't do doing this. Everything else you can practice. But that's why I'm, I want you to kind of mimic. OK, power like you're hitting it. You know, the window will be a little tight tonight because the sun's shining bright still. It was quite a bit of turbulence. I was bouncing. You can see the wind socks moving. That's your cue that. But as it smooths out, I'm going to venture off toward the interstate and then dump the trims out into the wind and push back. Go up and go around me. Right brake, lean it. Left brake, correct it. And then you can make a dog leg. Caught up. You're going to go up, right brake to make it go. Then left brake to correct. And then you're going down here now. It's a little dab. It leans, then the other, then switch, right, and then left. Like a big steering wheel. Think about that. Now go right, right. Turn your big steering wheel. There you go. Now turn it the other way. Ha ha! That's it. That's it. Good moves. That's control right there. You try it, Marshall. Clip. Check it. Go. And wings such as this require a very aggressive brake check. And any amount of wind when doing a forward, it'll just go right past you. So we let the trims out. We got a nice increase in speed. Pulling them in. It's pretty good. It's got little magnetic keepers for them down low. Flies with half trims. See how it breaks. Oh, it's 
still pretty aggressive from the steering. All right, air traffic. What are we looking at? I don't see much. Make a circle out here. And this is something that is kind of a pet peeve of mine. People that don't check for air traffic. When you're operating near an airport, I just can't emphasize it enough. I know I've said it a bunch of times. It's always worth saying again. Check your surroundings thoroughly. There are airplanes out there. I think we're alone now. I knew I would like the glider. It carries a lot of speed, a lot of energy, a lot of agility. It's uh, Kylo approved as far as an advanced glider. If you want something that's agile, fast, durable, and built right, this may be the one you want to try out. Can you say enough? Squirrel! Okay, now I hear the airplane. I know that this is good content. I think it's time for these students to go fly. Yeah, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's go do that. I gotta go back to work. I like the flow RPM. Thank you, Taru. I will uh I will see you guys real soon in the next one. Much love. Call out. <laughs>